20th of April, Daniel from Surface Scan has been here two days. He's been scanning the four spar booms off the French wing. He was in last October scanning the formers in the fuselage, which Dave manufactured and fitted to KB976 rear fuselage. Yes, thank you. So what's this, Keith? Is this the... Um, this is the, the, web, the web. Forward spar inboard. Is that the one where they had that? Yeah, where they right away. Where the tie-down point. Oh, yeah. Rotted away, didn't they? All the way around them, anyway. Yeah. Well, the tie down point was yeah. on its. Will you be able to line those holes up, or, or how will you actually drill? I mean, you could drill these, but how yeah. will you get those? Pick them off the spar. Oh, of course, yeah, they're getting that, yeah. So once you've got these lined up, you can then put it I'll on the I'll make a template spar. off the spar. Yeah. Put a template over the top. Yeah. Back drill the holes. And will you use a, a pilot hole in here as, to start with again? You know, put I don't know, it depends where I've got a cutter, I've got to check them. If I've, if I've got a cutter that's an exact size... You can go straight into it. I'll go you? straight. Yeah. Because the cutter will... These are those... Um, same sort of cutters as John used to drill the... Yes, yeah. Those mandrel type things. Yeah. yeah. In there. Yeah. Oh, nice, yeah. Yeah, not much play in that, is there? There we go. Yeah. Well, so, yeah, so you can go straight through instead of putting it in the yeah, pilot thing. Because it, once, it, once it's pinned down and it's all yeah. held down, the last thing I'll do is I'll cut them yeah. holes out. So when you say pinned down, where will you pin it down? The to the bench. Oh, yeah, oh, you'll... Drill straight through it in straight into the bench. Yeah. It doesn't yeah. move then. No. <laughs> you do some people by drilling it and putting a pin on it and it... The trouble is it's balancing on the bottoms of the pins and you get a slight yeah. bend in the thing so you'll get a slight yeah. deviation in the hole. Yeah. But if you drill that, it will drill, pin it straight to the bench. Yeah. The, the pins expand into the bench and pull it down yeah. and it hold it completely flat. That's good. Oh, yeah. I was thinking you were going to put wood screws in or something like that. Oh, no, no, no. Because no. you damage the holes then. Yeah. Just supposed to be, and then just Cleco them. Yeah. The same with these ones, where these are three sixteenth and some are a couple of five thirty twos yeah. in there as well. Okay. Exactly the same, drilled straight into the bench and yeah. Cleco pin in it. Yeah. To hold it, so it's all hold down. Yeah. And then I can mark the outside once it's all pinned flat. Yeah. I can mark the exact size of it. Yeah. Just cut it off. Oh, good. And then I've got to make a doubler as well that goes on from the end. Oh, that's right, yeah, there was it. Same thickness. Yeah, that's the same yeah. thickness as it, that's it, that's it's on there like that. Yeah. So I should make that out of that. that bit over there. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, <laughs> with, with a lot of this stuff, you get a lot of waste material, don't you? Which... Well, we put it back in a, in a rack. Yeah. There's bound to be stuff. It's just because yeah. it's an odd size, it's 80 now. Yeah. It's, it's 80 now, is it? That's, a, that's just over, over a 60 then, isn't it? Which is, uh, yeah. You know, you, if you want the exact gauge stuff nowadays, it's so expensive. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's astronomical because you've got to make it specific mm -hmm. yeah. roll it out to the exact thickness you want yeah <laughs> and the modern equivalents anyway because yeah. imagine this is dural which is, is alkaline so this is stronger than this anyway yeah, yeah. so a few thou not making a difference no 
Oh, good. <laughs> Yeah, you, you've got oh, well, you've got the um, the door door frame post in, yeah. and it looks like you've drilled it now. Yeah, I've drilled down the bottom and okay. next to the bits. That was quite tricky that one to get. Oh, you've got the door step in, right? Yeah, then the top and bottom on the old skin. So that, that was quite hard to match up with. So. And now I'm just working my way along the top to bring that top skin in a bit. Yeah. Well, that line there shows you the actual profile it should be. So the whole they? thing needs to move out. Yeah. Good quarter of an inch. So. Yeah. Bob and John are looking at that anyway. So. Yeah. So until they get that into the right profile, I, I can't do the frame this way because it'll. Yeah. Of course, this was badly distorted, yeah, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, got all crushed, yeah. So. yeah. But once that's in the right profile, if I put the rest of the frames in, yeah. well, there's only about three to go in, so, I mean, that's it. But is this all right further Yeah, up? the rest of it's all good, it's just on that one corner. Working on now? Um, up, the, up the top there, well, this new frame here that I've put in, I'm just working it over the top with the last few pins I've put in there. Oh, yeah. And go right over to the top, yeah. just, just, just to bring that in. Yeah. And then you've got the skins underneath you were saying to do, do it. It's one, well, it's, I did it about all over the place, didn't it? So it's fine. Oh, it did, yeah. 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 Actually getting some shape there. Yeah. I'll say, you've got the double skin on. Yeah. There were screws here on, on the original, yeah, on, on, on the Lancaster, which we deleted on the new ones we put in. So we've got to put 316 through the tin now on that one. And on the other side, there was a mounting for a camera or something there. Yeah. So what what is this then? You're putting in here? Is it a patch? Ah, <clears throat> the original had a bit of damage, as you can see. Oh yeah. A bit of damage with some cracks on it. Yeah. So the French. Well, I don't know if the French did it, but they, they put a patch over it. Like a scab patch like that, which was yeah. no good for flying, so yeah. I just made another one exactly the same. Yeah. It'll make it look a bit, bit, bit prettier than the other. Well, at the moment, you won't see anything on the screen because I'm just capturing the markers, so yeah. you won't actually see anything appearing no. here apart from dots. So. Um, so this you will turn over, will you, to do the other no, side? No, I, I can't move it once it's been... No. Because so, otherwise, because it's too flexible to yeah. move. Have you got dots on underneath? Yeah, then? dots on underneath, yeah. Oh. Some lights show up red and some lights show up white on the screen. 
Oh, they the, 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 the um, target. The targets are white. The LED, this is um, laser. Yeah. So these lasers will show up. That's the pattern projected onto the onto the surface of the model. The other one you used wasn't a laser scanner, was it? Uh, structured light. Yeah. Of course, yeah, well it is interesting though. Yeah. It's... Well, if you, if you want to record the answer, you can. Okay, you know you had the spars scanned, and can they do a, a mirrored image so you don't have to have the other spars? Yeah, in theory, yeah, they can just mirror it. Yeah. As far as we know, it's a mirrored image. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah, we'll, we'll plan on it, well, we'll get them extruded as if they are a mirror image, but we'll probably only machine them as we need them. Yeah. Um, yeah. Just just so we know for definite yeah. that they um, are uh, on just saying are you going to fit new ones but on the boom. That's the plan, yeah. yeah. Because, because we've got to strip them right down. Yeah. We might as well change the spars. Because yeah. we've done 2424 flying hours. Um, so we'll come to a stage where we have to go back and replace the spars. Yeah. If, if so we don't do them now. What up to about five thousand flying hours. Depends on the boom, yeah. So yeah. I think the lowest one's about four and a half thousand. So you get perhaps 30 years of flying before you have to do any major... Potentially. Um, yeah. but there is the question that's of... That's if it's 100 hours a, a year, isn't it? Yeah, the, the, what's, what that's not taking into account is if we try to keep the original spars, the CAA may say, well, because they're originals and you haven't got a course of everything that's happened to the aircraft from year dot to, to now, we only are going to give you 500 hours on them, and then you have to change them. Yeah. That's, that's, because we're looking at changing them anyway, that isn't a conversation we've had, but it's yeah. the sort of requirement they, they would have because of the unknown aspects and it being left outside for 30 yeah. years or whatever and, and things yeah. like that. So changing them is going to get rid of all that? Yeah. And no problem? Yeah. yeah. Oh, so. thank you, Andrew. Okay. So. The 26th of April, first taxi run of the year with a wingtips fitting.